do is go to import you want to click on the import and when you click on that it's going to open up a window for settings now if you've downloaded the TSI files from American Audio or you've downloaded my TSI file you want to go here into your computer and find the TSI file so you can import it into Tractor. Once you find it, you hit import, it import it, a little window will open up and the window will basically uh, ask you to click on certain items that you want to import into your MIDI file, into your control file, into your TSI file. Once it's there, then you can come here and you'll see it. It is say uh, keyboards and then MIDI. Now, once you click on that, all of the files for your MIDI controls will go here. If you're going to run more than one MIDI controller, you have to change your import and output settings. Uh, it is say in the drop down menu, it is say radius 1000, it is say tractor uh, virtual imports. You want to switch them to all ports, both sides, the out and the in ports. Uh, your target device, which is just below them, you don't want to specify any specific device. So you want to target the focus. And basically once you do that, your, your two MIDI controllers should be online. Um, basically, that's all you have to do there to set everything up. Once that's done, you want to power everything up. The first controller and the second controller, you have to set them up to work on different channels now. Uh, channel 1, Channel 2. My MIDI files are exactly the same whether you're using the first CDJ or the second CDJ, but you have to tell the CDJ that I want Deck A to work on Channel 1 and I want Deck B to work on Channel 2 so that there's not a conflict. Um, so right now, Tractor is set up, my sound card is set up, my mixer is set up, and my CDJs are set up. I'm going to do a quick walkthrough to show you how they work together. Be right back.